Jasper. <laughs> Found a hiking yeah. stick. <laughs> Doing wonders for my back. Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have Nehemiah, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the High School Esports League. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. Today is day 21 of traveling the country to build gaming computers for high schools. Today we're at Evergreen Valley High School in San Jose, California, and we're going to teach them how to build some gaming computers. What are we doing? So we got a comment. They said, with all of the boxes that we have left over, we should build a fort. We got about a half hour to spare before students show up today. We got everything set up. I'm gonna build a fort. <laughs> Show Chen Kui. So I, this is my second year at EB Evergreen Valley High School. Uh, I teach Mandarin, and this is my first year to be the ad club advisor for uh, our Cougar Esports. Um, I think I started say late October, and then um, Tian came to me or emailed me. Um, and he was just like, "Hey, Mr. Silvestri, I know you have the multimedia lab." Um, we, we, this is an esports club. We have computers, but the, the room we're in is a little bit small, and we know that your, your uh, multimedia lab it has some room. You know, I was a gamer back in the day and just wanted to how, how it evolved till now. So, my experience in games and esports has gone back years and years, like I'm sure every kid has. And I remember my sophomore year going into it. Um, it was just a summer for me and I saw, hey, there's a League of Legends team at our school that they're trying to put together. And I thought this was a great idea. Um, at that point, I had no clue about the club. I wasn't part of the officer team or infrastructure, but that's how I really got involved in Cougar Esports. And I just remember like one of our biggest memories last year when we first opened the club, um, we had 800 signups that lunch. And that was, we are, we're a school of 3000 kids. And that is a big deal. Like, Instantly right there, we were one of the biggest clubs in school. I just say, just, you know, open your eyes a little bit more and just check it out and, and see how it could benefit you, whether it be yourself or your family or, you know, in, in, your, um, in your class. Because we could use this for any cross-curriculum. I think my son, um, I, I support him because uh, uh, that's his uh, interest. So I can relate to some other uh, players. They want to pursue their interest and they want to have some future in the, some of them may have the dream to be the professional gamers. And I think they, if we don't get, give them a chance, they will never go to that place, right? They, they will never achieve their dream. I've been pretty fortunate um, asking the people, the support system we have, Ms. Quay, obviously, uh, her son Danny is our League of Legends team captain. So she was very helpful and ready to be on board. Um, but definitely Mr. Sylvester and like trying to find teachers who would be willing to support this was a little bit more difficult. I can see why they'd be hesitant with not just the esports side, but having like these super PCs in their room, um, things like that. But for the most part, Mr. Bustani, our assistant principal, is very big on esports. He's been super helpful with the entire process. But I know that with our teams, especially our players, a lot of them recently have pulled out because their parents are worried about their grades, their parents don't think it's a great investment in time. So in that regard, um, it's been difficult keeping some of our players and really it's just the parents and the community not really seeing esports the way that we do as, as students and as players. And this is where we think that we need to show how passionate we are and how much more of it, um, that esports is more than just playing games. And we can show that to our, the parents and the community and from there we can only keep growing. All right, so we're approaching the end of the builds here. We had um, about two kits per station, so they all got really good hands-on experience and were able to pretty much put it all together. A lot of the kids here have already built computers or at least had a really good understanding, so they've kind of been whizzing by 
But so far, no problems. It seems like everyone's enjoying it, and we're all having a good time. We had a lot of people from the National Guard show up, a couple teachers here, so we really got the whole school involved with this one. It's really fun. Yeah, we'll check in when they're all done. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Fancy. Let's go. That's fancy. Good. High five. Nice. Yeah, first build. Yeah, let's go. So that's gonna conclude our time here. As you saw, there's a bunch of really passionate people at this school. I'm really happy they won. It seems like they're gonna put these computers to really good use. They have a really fast growing club with a lot of engaged students. They've got you know, a couple different sponsors that are supporting them as well as the vice principal is all about it, which you love to see. Um, they, they gave some really good interviews and insight into how the clubs worked difficulties they face, things like that. And ultimately, it's just really exciting to see so many passionate kids about this, knowing that they're gonna be the next generation of people who you know, are helping to grow esports and take over at the next level. So really happy this school won. We've got like uh, 14 hours of driving ahead of us. I think we're gonna take a day off in San Francisco though. So I'm excited about that. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it lets everyone else know that, hey, this is a cool thing we're doing and you're helping spread the word about esports, which is why we're doing this whole trip in the first Space. So we really appreciate your support on this. I'm gonna go get some food. So we're just outside of San Francisco. We left the school last night, found a nice parking lot to sleep in, and here we are. This is home to some of the most beautiful forests and hikes in the country. So we figured we'd wake up this morning, drive out to the mountains, and go for a little hike.